now for Eyewitness News, call 12 for action. 250 million photos are uploaded each day to Facebook. That's about 3,000 pictures each second. And that does not include all other kinds of sites like Instagram, but those photos can take on a life of their own if you're not careful. Problem solver Susan Hogan tells us why you should think twice before uploading to the Internet. Odds are you have a photo or two floating around out there, and odds are that photo may be making the rounds in places you never even knew about and may not agree with. Like most of us, Jay Breen posts snapshots of his life on Facebook. If I'm doing something interesting or fun, like traveling and, you know, traveling other countries or traveling to, you know, islands. But when a friend mentioned seeing those photos on a scandalous dating website, Jay was stunned. So he logged on and sure enough... Up comes pictures of myself, three pictures that I posted on Facebook when I first signed up a while ago. This particular website is something that I didn't really want to be associated with. Jake's picture had been hijacked with hundreds of millions of photos being uploaded daily to popular social media sites. Experts warn that even the savviest internet users are seeing their pictures and other personal media copied and shared without their consent. Attorney Doug Eisenberg likens it to digital shoplifting. Anything that you or I create, so long as it is an original work of authorship, is protected under U.S. copyright law. And that can include photographs, video, audio. What's even scarier, reports are popping up around the world of stolen photos appearing in political attack ads, online scams, and even on foreign billboards, just to name a few. So what can you do if you discover you're a victim? Well, first, try contacting the site owner or content creator directly. That's what Jay did and said, this is becoming more serious, please remove it with capital letters uh, before I get you know, someone involved, an attorney involved. You could send a cease and desist letter uh, citing violations of the U.S. Copyright Act. Certainly in an extreme case, uh, you can file a complaint in court for copyright infringement. A simpler option would be to take preventative steps, like putting a visible watermark over things like photos and video. Another precaution is to change your privacy settings to be sure that only friends and family can see your photos. Of course, they can still copy and save them to be used in other places, but at least you cut back on the number of people who actually have access to them. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Cultural for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850, or if you're interested in becoming a Cultural for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.